This video contains graphic images of wound and injury simulations on role players and mannequins. All simulations are used to provide realistic, hands-on training critical to the success of the service members enrolled at Field Medical Training Battalion East. Navy corpsmen and religious program personnel selected to serve in the Marine Air Ground Task Force must complete training at Field Medical Training Battalion East before they can be assigned to Marine Corps Command. Located at Camp Johnson, North Carolina, Field Medical Training Battalion East trains sailors in the tactical, medical, and ministry skills required to serve with the Marine Corps. The Field Medical Training Battalion East staff, consisting of both Navy and Marine personnel, train sailors in Navy enlisted codes 8404, Field Medical Service Technician, and 2401, Religious Program Specialist. In addition to learning the skills required to provide medical and religious services in combat, students are taught Marine Corps knowledge, customs and courtesies, marksmanship, and participate in the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. Field Medical Training Battalion East also provides a Field Medical Service Officers course to orient and train medical department officers to successfully function with medical units within the Marine Air Ground Task Force. My name is HM2 Anitra French. My name is Sergeant Jesse Palmieri. Religious Program Specialist First Class to Andrew Madonia. I'm a Field Medical Service Technician Instructor. The Marine Corps Combat Expeditionary Skills Senior Marine Advisor. Religious Program Specialist Instructor at Field Medical Training Battalion East, Camp Johnson, North Carolina. The mission of Field Medical Training Battalion East is to train the Navy's finest to serve with the few and the proud. The MOS is trained at Field Medical Training Battalion are 8404 Corpsmen and 2401 Religious Program Specialists. The medical and religious program specialist community is important to the Marine Corps mission. One, because the Marines don't have those uh, communities naturally, so they basically have to outsource that to the Navy. The religious program specialist side takes care of the Marines' uh, spiritual health and spiritual well-being, while the medical side takes care of the Marines' physical well-being or medical well-being. What sailors should expect when they arrive at Field Medical Training Battalion, first off, they're coming here from either the fleet or they're coming here from their A school. The course is about 40 training days long, roughly eight weeks. And what they can expect here is to learn some rifle familiarization, they will learn basic patrolling, as well as some more advanced medical skills, such as care under fire, um, tactical field care, and how to Kazabak. Some of the innovative methods we use at this school to train my students would be the simulation lab for combat lifesaver, the Marine Corps martial arts program pit in which they earn their tan belt and the MCMAP program because they're combatants. We also go to the indoor simulation marksmanship trainer for the ISMIT, rifle range for uh, modified table two training, as well as several field evolutions for personal security and other tactical training. The sim lab itself is a very useful tool for the sailors. The instructors themselves and the environment of the sim lab create the stress for the students. We use fog machines, loud noises, realistic gummies with uh, realistic blood patterns, and that itself is going to induce stress on the sailors. It is on them to put the stress out of their head and operate and conduct the skills that they have been trained to do. So through this training, through this schoolhouse, they are in the process of being fully deployable. There's always follow-on training. What we like to say here is that this is not the end of your training, it's only the beginning. So what a gaining command can expect of students from Field Medical Training Battalion is that they are ready to adapt fully and integrate fully into their particular command's mission. Wherever the Marines are, that's where our sailors are going to be once they graduate the schoolhouse, no matter if they're in country or not. 